Hey everyone, I'm Joey. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a two balloon pumpkin. You're of course going to need your handy dandy balloon pump, two 260 size balloon twisting balloons. I'm going to use an orange for the pumpkin and a green for the stem. Links to both of these items can be found in the description below. This is a super cute and easy shape, especially around Halloween time. So if you don't mind, hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. That really helps my channel and it's a super small free way for you to show your support. Once you've gathered your supplies, let's get started. I'm going to inflate my first balloon, my orange one, to about four finger lengths tail. Now I want to evenly distribute the air in this balloon, so I'm going to fold the balloon over itself and use my entire arm to push both the front section and the back section against each other so that the air shoots to the end of this tail. I'm also using my hands to squeeze this balloon. Once we have the air evenly distributed with just a little nub on the end, I'm going to tie this nub to the nozzle. Now that we have a circle, I'm going to find the middle point on the opposite side of the balloon as where I tied it and create a twist here by twisting both sections in opposite directions. Now what I have should look like this. I'm gonna show you the easy way first, which is cutting this balloon into three sections. The harder way is putting it into four sections. So I'll show you that next. It's essentially the same thing. Your pumpkin will just look slightly different. I'm going to eyeball this and try to cut it into three separate sections. Then I'm going to make a twist right here. And if I did this correctly, I should just eyeball this and cut this in half and that should be my other third. So I can fold this over and kind of see that that's where I want to twist. So now I need to make a twist right here. The best way to do that to make sure this twist doesn't come undone is to hold it against your body and make this twist right here. You can also identify where you need to make the twist uh, because it's going to be at the very end of this first balloon. Now when we fold these on top of each other, they should be about the same length if we cut them into thirds correctly. Now what I'm going to do with one of my end balloons is stick one side of it through the middle of this middle section. Once this is most of the way through, I want to make sure that these twists are lining up. So as you can see right here, I still need to push this section up into the twist right here. Now I'm going to do the same thing for this last section. Just take one of the sides and stick it through the middle. Pull the top part out so that this twist gets connected with this joint up here. And pull the bottom down so that the bottom of this twist gets connected to this bottom joint. If you have trouble lining up your twists and joints, you can always push on both ends to kind of even everything out. And this is your basic pumpkin shape. If you'd like to do this easy method and fill out this pumpkin a little bit more, you can grab an extra orange balloon, wrap your nozzle around one of the joints of your pumpkin, and use this second balloon to make two more sections of your pumpkin. I think the best way to do this is to pull this second balloon up, figure out about where you want to make this twist, make the twist, And then take the end of your balloon and stick it through the pumpkin and pull it up so that this twist you just made meets the top joint. And we'll do that one more time. Do a quick break, tie it off, and hide the end of your balloon inside your pumpkin. You don't necessarily need to tie it off if you wrap it around enough times on this top joint. So by adding that second balloon, you fill in your pumpkin a little bit more so that you can't see through it. If you're going to try the more difficult method, make sure you leave more than four finger lengths tail, I'd say like five or six, and do the same thing where you evenly disperse the air through the balloon. Tie the ends together. I wanna find the middle point. And before I start twisting right here, I want to kind of feel both sides and make sure that the air is about the same pressure on both sides. 
So now instead of splitting this into three sections, we are going to split it into four sections. The first twist is going to be right here in the middle. So I'm going to fold the balloon in half to see where that middle point is. Give it a twist. Now we're going to split these sections in half as well. So find the middle point. Make a twist. You'll probably need to hold this middle twist as you're doing this, and then once you're ready to make your last twist on this left side, hold it against your body. Find the middle point and make your last twist here. And when you're splitting these sections in half, use your hands to adjust the air inside of it so that it's equal pressure on both sides before you make your twist. Now that we have our sausage links, we are going to do the same thing that we did for our easy method. So I'm going to start on one end and put one of these sections through the middle of one of these middle sections. Now I'm going to put one of these edges through this bundle. And this is the most difficult part, is getting in this last section. If you want a smaller pumpkin, you can actually quick break both of these and just tie it around here and you have a smaller pumpkin. Very carefully take one of these edges and stick it through the middle of your pumpkin. Now that you have all of these sections connected together, you can start pulling these ones that are a little bit too far in. You can pull those out. You can try to stick these ones that are sticking out. You can push them into the middle of the pumpkin a little more. Just adjust it so that it's as even as possible. And again, to get these twists connected in the joint, you can push on both sides. So there's two different methods for you. This is definitely the harder method. I think it looks a little bit better and more like a pumpkin, but this one will definitely work if you're a beginner or just looking for something quick if you're working in a restaurant or doing some line work. Now let's put the stem on our pumpkin. Inflate your balloon uh, probably about eight inches. Doesn't really matter. We're gonna be doing a quick break. We're gonna wrap this nozzle around the joints of the top of our pumpkin. So once I've stuck the nozzle through the pumpkin, uh, pretty much all I need to do is just wrap it around the top of the pumpkin and stick it back into the middle and it will stay. Now we're going to do three loop twists all in a row. Fold it over. Put pressure where you want to twist and twist it around. There's our first one. We're going to do two more. And last one. And you can determine how long you want your stem of your pumpkin. I probably only want mine like two or three inches. So I'm going to do a quick break up here to give myself a little bit of room to tie it off. An alternative way of attaching your stem to the pumpkin is just creating the stem outside of the pumpkin without attaching it first. I only go with that method if I can stick a balloon through the middle of this pumpkin comfortably. Because this pumpkin is big and still has space in between the sections, I'll probably do that. Now that I've got my stem made, I'm going to take this little two inch section, stick it through the middle of the pumpkin, pull it up the other side and orient it on top. And there you have two different methods to make your pumpkin. If this was helpful, don't forget to like this video for the YouTube algorithm. It really helps my channel and it's a super small free way that you can show your support. Remember to subscribe for new videos every week. And if there's any balloon twisting shapes that you do not see on my channel, let me know in the comments below and I'll give them a try. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm Joey, I'll see you next time.